Welcome back to Let's Play Divine Divinity with me, Squawk. And when we left off, well, it was still time to go into diary clear-out mode with Brian Eggman. And, yeah, it's basically diary clean-out day. And, uh, well, let's just quickly reflect on what we did in the last episode. Because I think Brian made a boo-boo, as in Squawker was just playing like he didn't care anymore. Except he does care because Squawker actually really enjoys this game. But he's in a bit of a... Oh, that's a dog. Um, but he's in a bit of a salty mood today, which he's not going to go into too much detail, but just would advise people who want to buy this game, don't buy it if you're playing on Windows 10, because it runs off DOSBox on Windows 10, which works like a sack of rotten potatoes. And, yeah, so I'm playing back on Windows 7 laptop, and yeah, let's just keep getting on right with it. So, last time, we accepted a quest off a rather colourful fellow to, um collect some debts now as we already have established brian eggman is a good person and he won't do any harm to jonas who who likes me or at least you know he's a half decent fellow who actually has a healing potion which i could lift off him if you i mean he's only asking 94 he's only asking 94 you know what yeah i'll give you i'll give you 94 gold for a uh, for a healing potion that'll be enough to get you some food won't it no not 139 94 come on uh, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94 go for a health potion. Thank you. Right. Does that make him nicer towards me now? I don't really know. Um, nothing really to say with this guy. I mean, he's still quite neutral to me, even though I've just given him money. Dick. Um, but yeah. Now, Brian Eggman is a good man. He he doesn't really have a really well-established moral code, but Brian Eggman lives to not be a dick. And by the way, you're a wizard by the looks of you. Can you magic food out of thin air? Sorry, I've little time to talk. Um, yeah, I, yeah, all the people here are hungry and poor and stuff like that. Tragic, isn't it? Um, but yeah. Now I don't want to get in. I don't want to get involved with crooks and stuff. So I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not exactly well inclined to work for a thug. So I think even if it means failing uh, the quest, I would rather not retrieve Barlin's necklace. I would rather roast Barlin into a crisp. However, that requires mana, which I don't have. But I could go to the pub and maybe buy some drinks, which would probably get me what I need. Because you know what? Yeah. Screw Barlin. Barlin is a Barlin's a thug. He doesn't deserve he doesn't deserve it really. And um, yeah. Um seeing what I have in my inventory, actually I haven't played in a while, so that's why I'm <laughs> just refreshing my memory and by clicking on stuff. Um I could really use drinking some beer maybe, but I, I what I really need to do is we do need to quickly pop to a tab and maybe see if I can just get myself some Geneva or something. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Geneva is gin. Um and we just really need to keep pushing along towards the next level because we are very close to leveling up and if we could level up then I'll be really happy with where we're at and also let's get my storm scythe back out because I'm no longer I'm no longer pissed out of my skull there's a pig so we're gonna quickly pop back to the pub get some drinks and then yeah we'll have a alcohol induced rage killer uh, someone's house and then yeah we'll get back on, back to work with all the stuff we're supposed to do hello dog right let's go have a quick chat with a barkeep and see if he will serve me i mean we get on don't we so you know splinter me man right i'd like to i'd like to buy some no no we're talking to splinter stop wandering off oh hi jaram forgot you're still here isn't aren't you how's Mardinaeus, by the way oh we had to leave Mardinaeus and alaroth to come to aid of plague victors here i hope i can return quickly to alaroth Take care, take care, Jaram. Jaram's a cool dude. Right. When those damn healers arrived, their misery began. Their talk of diseases, their methods of cure, and have driven away me customers. Oh, that's tragic, isn't it? Well, I would welcome something to clear the dust from my throat, please, or at least something that's going to restore some mana. Let's see. Beer, ale, wine, cheese. I think some cheese would be nice, but I don't want cheese, and I don't want. M Actually, no. Milk does stuff, doesn't it, to you? No, no, I'll just buy some wine. Uh, three flacons of wine, please. Nine. That's cool, right? Nine, f nine gold for three flacons of wine. You can't say fairer than that. It is really nice pub music, right there we go. Nine, three. Thank you. You see, we're selling the finer stuff. I, I can assure you, I believe you, right? Let's get some. Let's get something down your neck, Brian. Let's see inventory. I, I I'm good at hitting the wrong button in this game. Right, get some wine in you. That gives you, like, fuck all mana, really. Uh, try again. Nope. Try again. 
Right, that's three, that's three flagons of why I'm drunk and I got absolutely nothing out of it. I need mana and I'm just out of it. <sighs> I need mana badly. Um, right. So I don't have a mana required to go and murder Balin. I don't want to take Balin on a fight by the way. So let's see other things we can do there. Well, we do need to go to Captain Mytox, except that involves being killed off by spiders. But maybe if I ran really fast, I'd avoid them. And also there's a plague problem in Rivertown. And then there's all the quests I failed. Look, I have a lot of quests to get through. So in order to get some mana, I'm going to either... I mean, maybe I could acquire some at Stormfist Castle, actually. Well, not Stormfist Castle. At the barracks. Actually, why the fuck do I have... Right, you know, go to the barracks, talk to a captain. Maybe I can requisition a mana potion or something. Like, even if I have to give her money, I will do that shit. And, yeah, I'm not supposed to touch those bows because apparently I'll get cursed. I mean, it could just be a big scary note just to drive off potential thieves, thieving scumbags. But, I don't know. I'm not going to do it. By the way, oh my god, that's a B. Run, Brian, run. That's a B. Yes, Brian is so pathetic. He has to run away from bees, by the way. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? That's a thug. This place got so dangerous, like, since the last time I played this game. What is going on in this area? Right. Well, at least we avoided the big thug who was probably going to beat me up. Uh, this is not... Yeah, this is not the barracks. I have wandered off, haven't I? Right. Where am I again? Because I am stupid. I am near the... Not quite, but right, the barracks is to the south, I believe. I mean, I'll just get the, get the big map out. Yeah, directly south. That's probably why there's thugs up here, but yeah. Go directly south and I'm back at the barracks, right? Cool. I'll go directly south. Get rid of that auto map. Brian Eggman doesn't need a sat nav, right? Hopefully there's no bees or anything that'll kill me. And again. Oh my god, a bee! Yeah! Run for the bee, run for the bee. Why are bees so fucking aggressive in this area? Like, seriously, man. I thought bees were like, oh my god, that's a bar. Run, 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 run. But yeah, I thought bees were like generally easygoing creatures and also weren't like really fucking huge. Someone's got into the bee water supply in this in this game or something. That, that's the only explanation I can come up with, like, you know. Something ain't right in Rebellion, that is all I can say. But then again, barely anything's right in Rebellion now. We don't need to run anymore, Brian. Let's go chat to the barracks lady, see if she'll give me a mana potion for my troubles. And then I, you know, on a promise that I'll go and set set to fire, you know, a big fucking crime warlord. Because that's me, Brian Eggman, best guy in the world. Don't steal anything there, by the way, otherwise I will get arrested. Right, I'm always welcome in the barracks, aren't I? Yo, alright, soldiers, alright. So oh, yeah, that's a dead one. I can't touch his cheese. You guys ever gonna bother cleaning up the dead bodies around here, by the way? Or is that just gonna be something that's just gonna be left around here? Hmm. And, oh. I wanna come in, right. Where's that lady? Yeah, what are you doing back so soon? Knowing Captain... Yes, I know! Oh, wait, I'm not allowed to trade. Right. I know I'm defying orders, but you want me to see Captain Mytox instant... You want me to go to Captain... Right, is there anything in the requisition shed? No, that's the bedroom, and there's a guy sleeping. I don't wanna disturb him. Um, I think this was the ammunition place. You know, I'm allowed in here. I, I helped you that one time. And there's no mana potions in here, is there? Not at all. Oh, well, worth a try. Right, you know what? Uh, let's leave those giant wooden spoon launchers alone. Um, you know what? I have enough stamina. I have, like, 5,000 stamina. Brian's a fast person because he's such a wimp who hates combat so much. He just runs really fast, so... Brian, on your marks, get set, and we'll just run. We'll just run to the south. See, look at that. I am barely losing my stamina. See, ha <laughs> ha! I am smarted them orcs and those spiders and those brainwashed soldiers who hang around this area. Yeah, I should be careful of us, right? Captain Mito. Oh, hi orc. See you, orc. See, I run faster than you bastards. See, yeah. Catch, 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 catch this shit, can you? No, I am too hot for you. And this building looks like where I need to go, right? And that's war lumber, by the way. It's not a corpse, right? Uh, yeah. Hey, Captain Mytox, you in this area? You guys aren't gonna, yeah, these guys aren't gonna kill me. I just get a really cool military theme now. Oh, the music in this game is so nice, right? Any? Oh, yeah. You guys go kill that orc. Thank you. I didn't mean to lure him here, right? You're that bloke. This says working for General Alex. Unofficial like. Good luck, mate. It's about time you civilians did you. Oh, yeah, I forgot you soldiers are absolute twats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll chat to you over a beer later. For now. Oh, hello, Ock. Yeah, leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. We'll just slur the Ock around. It's so fun making everyone else do my dirty work in this game. Right, come on, come on. 
Ring around the rosies, a pocket full of posies. I'm just making this big fucking... It's like a zombie rape train, this game. <laughs> right, now, are uh, any of you Captain Mytox? Like, any of you? And why... Come on, guys, it's just one org. You guys are pathetic. Come on. My God, this is... This is actually really embarrassing and funny to watch. My God! Guys, get your swords out or something. Maybe don't attack with a big twat. Oh my God, this isn't right. Um, Brian, you might want to help out in a minute because this just isn't working. Oh, he died. Right. Gonna have to get a replay on that and see. You know, that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you died trying to take out one god. Oh, a cat statue. Using this item will transform you into the animal depicted by the statuette. I am having that. Please don't kill me. Right. I'll have a look at that later. Right now, one... Uh, the big tent will probably have a captain, so... I can't go in it. Right. Hmm. Right, where's Captain Mytox? I need to tell him, like, eight of his... Oh, lot, even more dead soldiers, but... Must be an attack on. Right. Don't go south where there's an attack on. Let's go in. Th th I mean, this building, he must be in here. Like, the army's probably requisitioned this building or something. I mean, what's the shop General sign? Store. General store. Right. That means they sell manor. Right. Who's in here? Captain Mytox. All right, mate. Greetings, soldier. Name's Captain Mytox. I'm in charge of a garrison of this village. Or at least what's left of it, since you just led an orc here and it somehow killed eight of my shit soldiers. Oh, well, what happened to this place? It's a bit of a dump. On which world have you been wandering lately? There already is a war! The Orcs are invading Rivertown and they currently are kicking our asses east of this village. I am regrouping the last reserves in the tent camp to kick the Orcs back to where they belong. Well, why did the Orcs start a war? Yeah, what is going on here? Is this just arbitrary standard Orc racism or do the Orcs have something to do? I don't know, because they're Orcs, I guess. Now, time is short. What do you want from me? Yeah, it's just arbitrary Orc racism. Right, um... General Alex... Oh, sorry. <coughs> General Alex bled me to deliver this sealed note for you, Captain. I've put it off for, like, three episodes now, but I thought I may as well do it, because then I might get invited to Stormfist Castle. I'm doing this more for me than for you, but... You know, I'm Brian Eggman. Paragon. Allegedly. That was agreeable. And it was very agreeable. Uh, thank you, soldier, whoever you are. You are most agreeable. You look fresh and you must be a good fighter to win through us. Uh, actually, I just ran here. I didn't even bother fighting anyone. Before you report back to General Alex, I want you to undergo me. Oh, I already know where this is going. I'm not one of your damn soldiers. I'm a freebooting mercenary. Still, tell me more about your mission and I'll see what you what, what I can do for you. So I can't accept it like a nice person. I actually have to accept it like an asshole or just be an asshole and say goodbye. Hmm. I'm currently trying to clear out my diary rather than fill it up again. But then again, if I help here, I might get invited to Stormfist Castle where Zandilar is just planning not to bloody leave in a lifetime. So, yeah, fuck it. I'll do this. And then, you know what? I will be liked by Stormfist Castle. The Orcs can only maintain siege as long as they have access to plenty of supplies. I want you to ambush their supply train and destroy it with some explosives. Oh, cool, we got gunpowder. Don't worry, they're not magical. There are some chemical concoction made by our alchemists. Just follow over the instructions on the packaging. Alright, alright, where can I find a supply train? I'll mark the spot where my scouts spotted the supply train on your map. Alright, so supply trains don't move anymore. They just sit still. Alright, I'll do my best, Captain. Here are the explosives. Good luck! Oh, and one more thing, freebooter. I know I'm asking a lot from an unpaid mercenary, cheap bastard, but maybe this scroll could be useful to you. It's an activation scroll for the human teleport. All right, not a cheap bastard. Thank you. I needed that. I was talking about getting one. So thank you. This will come in very useful. I hope so. All right, well, I could use... Well, I don't want better equipment, Captain, but can you fix me up with a mana portion? Right, but General did not provide you with it. Okay, quickest solution for you is to go around in the tent camp. Uh, you can take what you need. Where is tent camp? Go straight west. You're like literally being through it. It's like, it's where the fucking pile of blood is, mate. Alright, cool. And hey, my mana got filled up because I just remembered I leveled up, didn't I? Yes! Wow, that was a overreaction, wasn't it? Right. <clears throat> I've le- Oh, 
I'm locked in here now. Right, so now I've been shut in here. Right, let's update. New quest. Stop the orcs. Like, blow up their supply trade, and I will get invited to stomp his castle for sure. And also, I've leveled up. So, skills. What can we do now? Well, we can unlock... Well, we can upgrade our freezing powers. That's what we could do. Or we could look at way of a survivor. Uh, alchemy, actually, I want to do. I really want to do alchemy because... I really do want to start making my own mana potion, so we're not... Because, I mean, like, we're in a bit of a disaster zone and not having any mana, so we are going to do a mana potion uh, thing, so... Or at least we're not allowed, we're not allowed to uh, forge potions until level 9, but you know what, let's get... Let's hit the ground running, so we'll do passive alchemy now, which will allow us to successfully combine potions and herbs, so we can, like, make potions stronger, make potions weaker, or do things. So, I will... I will... I will... I will unlock passive alchemy and uh, yes uh, can I unlock it uh, how do I unlock stuff again in this game or oh, oh no wait do I need to be level 9 to do this oh yeah I already have level 1 alchemy don't I someone's forgetful but yeah I already have level 1 alchemy which means I can't upgrade it until level 9 right what is Brian Eggman he is he's level something Le Brian what are you you're a level 7 right two more levels until we have alchemy then Okay, well, I'll unlock something else then, I guess. Um, I could un I could actually upgrade my freeze power to level 2, which will allow us to... It doubles the time we freeze someone. That's good. Uh, frozen target will receive even more damage, actually. It doubles the damage. And only for creatures with a spiritual resistance lower or equal to 15. So it means more creatures can be frozen. That's not bad, but I need to be level 11. Um... There actually aren't really anything I can do, is there? Well, I can actually upgrade some other things. I could upgrade my vermin. I could upgrade my skeleton. Um, I could upgrade my meteor strike. Yeah, I could upgrade my meteor strike. I need it to be level 7. So, upgrade my meteor strike. And it does double damage. Right, cool. Meteor strike is getting upgraded then. Thank you very much. How wonderful. Wonderful! Right, so now I've got a better meter strike power. So, that's cool. My elemental power knowledge has increased. Frame rate has capitulated again because... Yeah, like I said, I can't get this game to work on Windows 10, and as you can tell, it seems to have a lot of trouble just working on Windows 7. Um, right, better pause the recording stuff. Right, that was agreeable. Right, I had to restart the recording, or at least just, you know, quickly uh, tap fraps out, and it didn't work, actually, because now the frame rate's shitting itself again. Right, you know what? Because we got this quest done and I got leveled up, this is actually a good place to call it an episode, but we're just going to quickly uh, boost my stats. Um, so stats I want to boost while everyone walks in slow-mo. Um, I feel like more strength is needed for Brian. Um, so I'm going to pop myself in... Let's see. Um, I'm going to pop in two more strength. So that will take us up to 17. Um, I'm going to pop one more for agility just to make myself better attacking. And... You know, one for intelligence and one for constitution to increase uh, mana and uh, health. So there we go. So that was agreeable. Now I can have up to 72 health. I can have up to 132 mana. And I now ha still have five lightning resistance. And I have free reputation, by the way. So I'm getting better. So that's why I'm going to call it an episode. Because, yeah. So, yeah. Once more, Divine Divinity does run a little bit shitty, unfortunately. It has to run through DOS box, which GOG automatically like, loads up for me. But... Yeah, sad times really, but either way, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, I'll see you on the next episode, where we're going to go deal with that orc supply train, so thank you for just basically watching me run like a coward, avoiding everything, and then watching eight soldiers get their asses handed to them by one orc. I don't like this military I'm working for, can I just choose a less shit faction?